I just added my first video overlay to a video that I edited in Microsoft Movie Maker. It was actually two overlays. Yes, one was a subscribe image and the other a mini trailer of a video that I created earlier. If you'd like to check out that video, click here and watch it. I'll pause and wait for you to come back. Go ahead. Go ahead. Make my day. I created a outro video segment. An outro goes at the opposite end of the video as the intro. That should go without saying. Only this time I wanted to get fancy and add a mini trailer of another video that I published before. I'm pretty new to Movie Maker and after doing a little searching I found that Movie Maker just doesn't support this functionality. There are a number of products that do but I was hoping to stick with Microsoft and free. Emphasis on free. So after doing more searching, I'm able to introduce you to Microsoft's free version of Expression Encoder. Let's get started. Select Transcoding Project, and then let's import those video files. Where are my files? Where indeed. They're not there because the free version of Microsoft Encoder program does not support MP4 files. MP4 files are the default format of Movie Maker. Now when you bring up Movie Maker, there they are, my MP4 files. So let's open it in Movie Maker. Let's save the movie. Select the name so you don't have to type it again. But this time change the type not mp4 anymore change it to windows media video file feel lucky now let's start a new project no need to save and let's convert the other video clip same as before. Save movie. Select the name so you don't have to type it again. Change it from MP4 to the Windows media file. Save. Wait for it to convert. Let's get out of Movie Maker. Back to Encoder. Click Import. There's some video files I can work with. Select the uh, main outro video clip. It's small. You want to change the size of it here. Save you some grief later on. And apply. Make sure the uh, Enhance tab is selected. And under the Visual Overlay section, check the box. Add Overlay. Let's pick the trailer. Now now you've got the movie trailer in here as an overlay. You can see it's in the green box. You could drag that around and um, place it where you think it's the most appropriate. You can also drag the corners to resize it if you want to. You can see that the green bar there represents the overlay. I know where I want to start this and this is a way, kind of an advanced way to start it at a particular spot and you just specify the, the second at that mark where you want it to start and then where you want it to end you can see the green bar up there change size change position you can also drag the green bar ends up there with the mouse if you want to all right let's see what it looks like is there's no sound but sound can be added just set the volume
that's good. Click encode and then wait. And then go find the folder that it got placed in and uh, check it out. See if it worked. Yay, it works! As you may have guessed, I found that you can only add one overlay at a time in Expression Encoder. So now we need to add the second overlay. So let's come back to Encoder. This time um, we're going to start with the video that we the video clip that we just encoded. So click Import. Go to the uh, video that we just encoded. It's going to bring it in. Must always remember to set the size. Is this the right one? Yep, this is the one with the overlay. Now we're going to import the second overlay. That's going to be the image I created for the subscribe button. It comes in the same way that the video clip did. You move it around the same way. You can resize it if you want to. The green bar represents that image. I'm going to start this subscribe button at the same place that the video starts. I'm going to run it a little bit longer. Almost all the way to the end. Then I'm going to fade it out right at the end. And when it gets to the end of the green bar, fade out and cut. End code. We're done here. No need to save. Let's find the video we just encoded and see if it worked. Alright, please check out the video that this outro was used in. You'll also see it has an intro and a middle. Hope you found this useful. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.